Hello guys, I hope you can hear me. So, Luki and I are live, Mwah. and I'm filming with my cell phone, so if I don't comment on every comment or chat message that you send me, then please forgive me, it's because when I um, film with my cell phone, the comments disappear really fast. Hi, I am a unicorn on a rainbow. Welcome to this live stream. So anyway, I was saying that the comments disappear really fast and sometimes, you know, I don't have time to read them because I'm distracted, because I'm filming, so please forgive me, okay? Yes, it's been a while, I know, and there are so many things that are going on and... Hi, Sky King! Um, how are you, is your question? Well, I will respond to that right away. <laughs> um, there are so many things going on, good things, um, and that's why I haven't uploaded as much as usual. But I promise I won't leave you guys hanging. I will try to upload more from now on again. Um, hi, Kelly. Welcome. Oh, thanks. Um, I am a unicorn on a rainbow. Says my hair looks amazing. Um, yeah, I cut it. I let it cut short. I went to the hairdresser because I was just sick and tired of my long hair. I couldn't hula hoop with it anymore because it was so long that it was constantly stuck <laughs> um, it got tangled in my hoop and it was super warm because it's super warm here in Belgium these past few days oh Sky King that's so cool I'm glad um, so yeah I let it cut short and I was afraid in the beginning but I actually really like it and what I also really like about this haircut is that I can make two little ponytails on the side piggy tails or how do you say that and I was afraid it was gonna be childish but the length of my hair is just right so it doesn't look childish it it's just cute you know and really handy for exercising hi Sarah Chrisman welcome yes Fran Tucker hi Fran it's been a while uh, it feels so light and just I feel younger and more alive I feel like my long hair was it was so long and heavy that it's it made my face look really boring sometimes I also love my fringe um, I actually didn't want a real fringe but um, it turned out to be okay I asked for half a fringe or something it's hard to explain but anyway Oh, Sky King says where he or she lives, it's 33 degrees every day. Yeah, it was 34 degrees here a few days ago. Now it's more like 27 degrees. But for us Belgians, <laughs> it's um, that is already very hot. Okay. Um, I don't have like an hour or something to live stream because I wanted to... Um, live stream an hour but something came up kind of an emergency so i don't know for how long i will be able to live stream but i'll do my best to stay on as long as possible and okay i'll give you an update on things so the first surprise i want to show you and please don't mind the miss is that my boyfriend and i or no actually my boyfriend is building an aviary for Luki. Hello, beauty. You look so handsome with that naked torso. <laughs> and let's see. This is the aviary. I hope you guys aren't dizzy from all of the turning. Um, it's no way near finished uh, because we had an emergency today. And yeah, um, so we're running a bit behind. But we're, well, Robert is building an aviary for Lucky because one, um, Everyone in Belgium who owns Birds of Prey needs to have an aviary by the end of June, by the 1st of July, because the law has changed. We were allowed to keep a bird of prey tethered to a perch um, until now, but starting from the 1st of July, which is very soon, um, it's not allowed anymore. So you have to have an aviary and that's what we're building. Um, yeah, it's uh, nothing fancy yet, but it will be really cool when it's done. And here's backup, by the way, behind me. Where are you, Becky? Becky. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and 
Also, the second reason we are building an aviary is because... Oh, hi, Mohamed! And someone else whose comment has disappeared. <laughs> Sorry, can't read your name anymore. But anyway, another reason we are building an aviary is because Monday we are leaving... Yeah, Monday. Monday we are leaving um, for Thailand. Um, it's our first big trip voyage <laughs> together um, and we're leaving for Thailand for 12 days and I don't really have um, falconry people to watch over Loki um, so two of my friends are gonna do it and I would normally never ever let someone take care of Loki who doesn't know falconry but if I put Loki in an avian don't have to do anything they don't have to handle Luki they just need to enter the aviary it's gonna have a double door so that um, they can't make a mistake and Luki can't escape or fly away um, and also because if Luki would act territorial then they can just stand you know in between the two doors and they can just throw Luki's chicks um, in the aviary without uh, being in any danger or something so um, I would never let. Sorry, Luki wants to jump on my shoulder, but I'm not gonna let her this time. Um, I would normally never let um, friends who don't know anything about falconry take care of my owl, because if Luki wouldn't be in an aviary, then they would have to be able to handle Luki. For example, when she's tethered to a perch, perch, sometimes it happens that her um, her jesses get tangled and then you have to free her but to free her you have to know how to handle an owl you know and that's not something you learn sorry for the noise but that's because robert is kicking ass in the aving aviary building section um maybe i should take you guys inside then so that he can work a bit more and i i can vlog um sorry if I didn't vacuum today, I wanted to, but then there was an emergency, so I didn't. So if you see dirt on the floor, it's not a lot of dirt. You're probably not even gonna see, but I'm just gonna sit in the couch. Hi guys, this is my living room, and I hope Luki is not going to poop on the carpet. Um, maybe I should put a towel underneath her. Just a sec, guys. I'm using every hand I have. I'm just gonna put her on my lap and I have put um, a little towel on my lap. Okay, where was I? Okay, I can still hear Robert. Just a second, okay? Uh. I will close the doors so that... This is the kitchen. <laughs> I hope you guys are really enjoying this vlog. To be honest, I feel really good that now that I'm vlogging. It's been so long since I've live okay with it at first even though I missed you guys but now that I'm doing it again I'm like Wee! it's like I'm on drugs or something it makes me so happy so um where were we um so yeah if Luki would still be tethered to a perch if Luki wouldn't have an aviary then I would um, not ask friends or family to look after her because Handling an owl is not something you learn in a couple of days. Um, even though Loki is just a small owl, it's a born owl, um, it's still pretty intimidating for people who don't know falconry. Um, and the problem is that even if my friends would be able to handle an owl in general, like even if they would know how to hold her or push her on the glove or anything, I'm sorry, I just had dinner. Um, even if they would have all of that knowledge, um, then there would still be a problem, which is that when Luki is in the house and when she is sitting on her perch, she is always in the house. She's very territorial towards strangers um, or even friends that she has seen um, lots of times. Um, she's very territorial and she will attack them. And that's not safe because even if you know how to handle an owl, uh, there's a difference between handling an owl or handling an owl that's being aggressive. So yeah, that's that would be the main problem.
But luckily, uh, we will have an aviary by the time we leave and my friends can just um, take care of Lucky without any danger for them or Lucky. All they have to do is throw in two chicks every day and um, maybe replace the water, um, the little pots with water. My English is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, they just have to check that if Luki is okay, but um, she will be okay because I have her for about seven or eight years and she's never gotten sick. And it's summer, so she will be a-okay. And if she's not, then they can call me and we can figure out a solution. Luki wants to jump on me, but I'm like holding my phone. <sighs> okay. Um... Oh, Roger says, I guess building an aviary really shows where your priorities are. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, I am a unicorn on a rainbow says, um, I really want to meet you, heart. <laughs> I really want to meet you too. Um, where do you live? Because you've probably told me, but like, um, I don't want to be a diva, but <laughs> we have done so many live streams and it's been such a long time. I forget sometimes. Sometimes I also confuse two people. Uh, for example, who have I confused? Sometimes I confuse Craig Macefield, who is on here a lot. He's a very active subscriber. I confuse him with Mick. Mick, Mick how I think? Um, and I'm so sorry. I hope this is not offending anyone or something. Sometimes I confuse people because I feel like Craig and um, Mick are both two really nice guys. They are amazing. And yeah, like in that area, they have a lot... Of uh, in common, they are both doing great falconry wise. They are very, very responsible, very sweet, very positive, upbuilding, and they share a lot of pictures on Facebook. So they have all of that in common. And sometimes I'm like talking to Mick, thinking it's Craig, and vice versa, which is pretty funny, I think. Oh, um, I am a unicorn on a rainbow, lives in Australia. That is so cool, but isn't it like autumn or winter now in Australia? I would love to meet you there. Like, if I would have the money to go to Australia, I would... Luki is trying to escape. <laughs> Escape. Oh, maybe I could let her loose and I could just go stand where she will go sit. And then um, I can vlog some more and she can have her freedom and I can vlog easier. Ha! Let's do that. So, anyway, I was saying that... Um, if I would have the money to go to Australia, I would come towards you. Um, I am a unicorn on a rainbow and I would definitely meet you. Or I would even, if I would have the money, pay your trip to Belgium and you could be my guest for like several weeks and we could hang out and have so much fun. But unfortunately, I'm not a Rockefeller. <laughs> I'm not Rockefeller. So yeah, um, it will have to wait. But if you're ever in Belgium, please let me know and I will be happy to have you as my guest. I will cook for you so that you don't have to go to a restaurant and pay for your food and stuff. That I could do. And you would have a place to sleep here if you're not a psycho, but I, I'm assuming that you're not a psycho. Okay, Luki, you can fly freely. You can leave me. It's okay. So I will just film her beautiful face for a few seconds or minutes, whatever. The only thing I'm not gonna allow is that she's gonna sit on the couch because this is a new couch it's second hand we um did pay a lot for it um but it's real leather i know my name is vegan hippie and i have a real leather couch but the reason i still consider it vegan is because i normally don't buy regular you're being so sweet i normally don't buy real leather um because i'm trying to be vegan i should actually make a video about it because i'm not vegan i am more plant-based like, owning an owl in captivity is not vegan either, but I bought her before I tried to go vegan. So I eat plant-based um, and I try not to buy an, um, animal products, but I still buy shampoos that are tested on animals sometimes because it's not easy to find shampoos and stuff that aren't tested on animals. I do buy them. I have found a brand that I really like. So I'm working on it, but if I'm honest, I shouldn't actually call myself vegan because that will piss off a lot of other vegans who are 100% vegan and who are really passionate about what they're doing. So, but that being said, she has flown to the window. 
And she always does this, but first I'm gonna finish my vegan story and then I'm gonna explain some more about what she always does there. So, okay, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> so um, I shouldn't call myself vegan, but the reason I still think that it's okay to, that I have bought this leather couch is because it was already purchased by someone else. I just, um, when, when that person didn't want it anymore, I just uh, paid money to pick up the couch. So it's not like I supported the leather industry. You know what I mean? And now she has flown to another piece of furniture. It's not like I have supported the leather industry. So if it's secondhand, I will accept leather stuff, even though I'm not a fan completely because it, for me it's weird to know that I am sitting on cow's skin and that the cow has really suffered before it died. But like, I would never buy a new leather couch because no, that's just a step too far, you know? So we didn't pay a lot of money for that couch, but um, I'm really glad we got it. What you doing? I'm really glad um, that we got the couch because the last couch I got from a friend and I'll just go sit here while you, while you chill and entertain my fans. Um, our last couch we got from our friend because we were struggling financially and you know it was also a second couch but it had survived a lot. Um, her kids had thrown up on it multiple times. Um, and it, it hurt our back and it was really, it, we couldn't keep it any, any longer. Also, it was really hard to clean uh, because it wasn't leather and the, the hairs of the dog were stuck in it all of the time and I had to vacuum like six hours before it was clean. So we bought this new leather white couch and I hope you liked it. And probably a lot of people have clicked away from this video already because I'm nagging about a simple couch all of the time. Have you guys missed me? I do that a lot because I have ADHD. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, like I said, Luki usually when I let her fly freely, she will fly around for just a minute or two, maybe three. Um, and then she'll settle down and she will just go sit on the top of the door or the top of the window or a chair and she'll just stay there. And that's um, how I know that it's not necessarily cruel to own a, an owl in captivity because in nature they do exactly the same thing. They sit in a tree um, and they only fly when they are hungry and need to hunt or when they have offspring that they need to feed. And, you know, they try to preserve their energy for when there is a natural enemy and they have to flee. Um, so, yeah, I'm really sorry. Uh, I apologize to the people who are commenting. And if I'm not, oh my God, if I'm not responding, then it's just because I'm talking and I'm not... Like, your comments appear on my cell phone and they disappear so quickly. When I vlog with my webcam on the computer, it's different. I can scroll back and still reply to everyone. Oh, thanks, Richard, for liking my hair. And someone else said something about my hair and that it's good and something about my teeth. <laughs> Which is probably good. Um, okay, so um, I explained that. Okay, some other updates. Would you stop flying around? Like, I can't follow you. Can you guys see looking like this? Because there's a lot of light. Sorry that this vlog is so messy. Like, okay, I'll have to stand like this forever because I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna stay there. Maybe I should grab a chair. Just a sec, guys, I'm gonna grab a chair. <laughs> because I don't want to stand like for half an hour. I don't know how for how long I'm going to be able to vlog. So I don't promise anything, but I will stay on as long as I can. So I was saying, oh yeah, I'm going to give you guys some updates about life with and without Luki. Uh, how can I make sure that you guys can see Luki 
and me, this is not easy. Ugh. At the same time, this is not working out. No, this is not. <laughs> this is not working out. Maybe I'm just gonna point the camera at her while I talk. No, that's not pointing the camera at her. This is so hard. How do I do this? Ugh. Okay, if people are unsubscribing right now, I completely understand. Oh, that's how I do that. Okay. It's very obvious that I don't know how to use a selfie stick. In this day and age, that's something to be ashamed of. Okay. Uh... Yeah. So, now that Luki is in the video again. <sighs> okay. Some updates. So yeah, uh, in a couple of days, the aviary for Lucky will be done. And I will try to do a live stream where I put Lucky in the aviary for the first time. I think that is gonna be super exciting because she's gonna be thrilled, I think. Um, and if Lucky is gonna fly off now, then she is gonna take with her a picture of my parents. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Safety first. <laughs> okay. Uh. Right. I hope the lighting isn't too bad. Oh my god, I'm the worst vlogger ever. Okay. So, the aviary will be done. I will try to live stream when we are putting her in it for the first time. <laughs> yes, Roger, indeed. And now she's being a brat and moving all of the time to make things difficult. <laughs> um, okay, another news. Oh, and this is um, kind of big. Robert and I, you guys know probably that um, we were gonna get married the 29th of June this month, uh, so this year, yeah. Um, but we, um, we postponed the wedding. Everything is A-OK -okay between us. We love each other like crazy, but um, I was not doing OK in eating disorder recovery and I was not... I was just not in a good place and we decided to postpone the wedding another year. So we're, so we're going to get married in June the 27th next year. But it's A-OK. -okay. Um, we are OK. I'm doing great now. I'm really glad I postponed the wedding because now I'll be able to get married with less stress and it's going to be enjoyable. <laughs> so, yeah, that is some big, big news. And that's why we're going to Thailand. Um, I feel like Robert has worked so hard. He has had so much stress because of the divorce with his, with his ex. Um, he really deserves a good vacation. So we were actually going to go to Thailand for our honeymoon. And we decided to not cancel the trip and to just go. And we'll go on another honeymoon next year. Um, because I'm going to start working full time again after our trip to Thailand. So... Um, we can save up, I think, um, for the trip. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, people are saying that they want to see the aviary design. Um, if you mean the plan, a blueprint or something, um, we don't have one. Robert is so, is such a genius. <laughs> he just like does it but if you mean that you want to see what it looks like right now then i can go outside again quickly without having Luki escaping and show you again because the person who's asking is probably ah she just flew on my shoulder did you see that this is such a proof that we actually do have a bond and that i'm not abusing her um okay so i'll wait until she leaves me to show you the aviary or I will put her on the glove if she doesn't leave me in a few seconds or minutes. Sorry that this vlog is so messy, but yeah, what can you do? Um, 
So yeah, we're going to Thailand, even though the wedding is postponed, but we're both okay. We love each other dearly and the wedding is going to be even more amazing when it happens. Um, so that was big news. Um, oh yeah, something else. I will give you guys the reason why I haven't uploaded as much as usual. Um, so I mentioned that I wasn't in a very good place a few months ago and it was really tough. And her nails, though, her, my friends, like they saw me suffering and they saw how desperate I was. Oh no, I'm gonna move you, Luki, because I don't want you to poop on the TV furniture. No, 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 and not on the, not on the leather furniture either. Can you please go sit on the window again? Or a chair, that's a-okay. So, um... Yes, you are my best friend. I was saying, oh yeah, I was struggling really bad. And my best friend for my birthday, she gave me a session with a therapist she is seeing. It's actually a healer. So it's not an official therapist, even though she has a therapeutic license. So she has done the studies, but she decided um, she doesn't like traditional therapy um, because it doesn't work. It doesn't always work. Oh my God, I'm struggling. And um, she, for my birthday, she gave me a session. And she was like, just try it out. If you don't like it, you can just not go anymore. Uh, but just try it because I'm convinced. Oh no, Luki, don't do that. You will be in the aviary without Jesses in a, in a couple of days, okay? I promise. Um, she was like, just try it out. And if you, no, if you don't, like it, you don't have to go anymore. And I was like, okay, I've got nothing to lose. So I went and oh my God, what a transformation has this therapist caused in me since then? Well, it, it didn't happen right away, but since I've been going there, um, I have made so much progress and I am so much happier. Um, so I'm not cured or anything, but to be honest, I don't even think in terms of having an eating disorder anymore. Um, if I need to give it a name, I will call it an eating disorder. But like, I don't think like, oh, I'm so sick, poor me. It's, it's, that's what healers do, you know. They, I have learned a lot about um, the universe and how vibrations work and about the fact that everything is energy and it's very holistic and it sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo but it really works at least for me and well i know from the people who go there that it actually it works for everyone um looking come on why why now all of a sudden um stop stop it i will remove them when you are in the aviary i promise she normally doesn't do this a lot, but sometimes she, she does it. And then, you know, I do think that's kind of pathetic. That's why I'm really glad we're building an aviary. Um, so I went there and it caused a huge positive transformation in myself. And I started doing better and better until I started doing really good. And this therapist encouraged me to, you know, um, kind of take a journey to myself and figure out what I want to do. She made me, oh my God, I'm so sorry for the bad vlogging. She made me realize that um, I should do the things that make me happy and I should be able, I should be myself. I should be, I should allow myself to be myself. And I learned that hoop dancing is really good for me and that it's a passion it's almost like meditating it's very healing and i started doing it more and um i just because i was going to I, i'm still going to this therapist i'm also following a course um at her with her um and since then i have just been working really hard on myself and it meant that i had less time to vlog my pri my priorities were just different and please don't get me wrong i still love you guys just as much and i will not give up this channel 
but I did realize that the videos I make with Luki, I actually make for you guys. Um, Luki is a passion and I do not regret buying her. Um, but my true passion is hoop dance. And I started making videos because people asked me to, and I will continue to do so, but hoop dancing makes me even happier. So yeah, I, I guess I just took some time for myself and it really did me good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep making videos as much as I can, as often as I can. Um, but I also think it's really important that I do the things I really love. So I will keep making videos for you guys and I still love doing it, but I'm even more passionate about achieving something with my hoop dance. So I want to become a performer. Um, it doesn't have to become a business. I would like to go and teach and I'm actually working out something with a physical therapist. Um, we want to do a col col collab, a collaboration. Um, so, you know, I'm working on it and I'm being, yeah, really successful in what I'm doing. Um, even though I have just began doing this for a couple of weeks and I'm really excited about it and it makes me happy. So yeah, I have invested more time in those things than in YouTube and I'm really sorry and please don't take it the wrong way. I will upload more from now on because I'm ready to do so. Um, and I'm still just as passionate about you guys as before. Um, so it's nothing personal or anything. And I'm still really grateful about the fact that I have you guys, because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have a platform like this, you know? So yeah, still very grateful and appreciative and Whenever I don't vlog, I do really miss you guys. Like genuinely, I do think about you guys, but I will upload more from now on. Um, another thing that has been really exciting, at least for me, I'm gonna take a chair and just sit because Luki is staying put. But I bet if I take the chair and I place myself next to her, she's gonna fly away again because she has a good sense of humor or something. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay, so another thing that has been really exciting is that um, I've created an Instagram about my hoop dance. And um, I have applied to be an ambassador for two companies. And even though I don't have a lot of followers, I was like, this is so, this is such a passion. I'm convinced I'm going to get it. And I got it. So now I'm an ambassador for Just Strong, which is a company that designs fitness clothing, yoga clothing, uh, bodybuilder clothing, bodybuilder supplements, just sports gear in general. And their mission is to um, get women to realize how strong and powerful they are. Um, and they also are anti um, body shaming, I guess. They, they're like, don't be skinny, just be strong. And their motto is also not just strong for a girl, just strong. Like they really want to empower women, women all over the world. And I think that is such a great mission. It's so noble. And I really support the positive vibes they are putting out. Um, Uh, so, yeah, um, I'm brand ambassador now for Just Strong. And by the way, um, after I've done live streaming, I will put the information in the description box of this video because right now there's no information at all in the description box because it is a live stream. But after this live stream, I will complete the description box because if you're an ambassador, you get a code to give to your followers um, so that if they want to order, they get a discount. So if you go to um, www.juststrong.com um, slash discount and then my code, you can order something if you need um, leggings, for example, or a sports bra or a sports bag, whatever. You can order and you get 10% off if you use my code, but um, 
after this uh, live stream, I will put the code and the website and stuff in the description box of this video. And then the second brand I'm representing is Altus Clothing. And they just make really nice, fashionable clothing and jewelry. And um, I don't, I haven't received the code I can give you guys yet, but the moment I do, I will start putting the code and the website in the description box of all of my videos so that you can save some money. Uh, for me, this is really exciting because I feel like I'm putting positive vibes I'm sending positive vibes into the world, especially by supporting the brand Just Strong. It's not just about the money. This company is really about making a difference in the world. You know, they want ambassadors that are strong and that have overcome something. So they won't just pick the prettiest girl on Instagram or anything or the, the tiniest girl because, you know, the modeling industry usually does that. Uh, no, they're just like, we want strong women. We want women who can encourage other women to be themselves and to accept themselves for who they are. And that is so beautiful. So I'm really excited about that. And honestly, they have amazing sports gear. I have ordered a purple um, leggings, a purple pair of leggings, uh, ombre leggings. So they're purple and then on the bottom, they're, they're lighter and lighter and then they're white. They are so beautiful. Um, so yeah, look at me. I'm already trying to make publicity. <laughs> but yeah, they are such a great brand. And um, you will see me wearing their clothes in my videos, of course. Um, so yeah, if you need some sports gear and you want to save some money, then after this live stream, go check out the description box. Just give me like 20 minutes or something to complete the description box because I can't do it right away. It like YouTube has to update the video, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's really exciting. Um, by the way, if you want to follow my hoop dance Instagram channel, the name is just my genuine name. My genuine name is Elke, E L K E. And then Emmerman, it's E M M E R M A N N in Dutch. Uh, Emmerman. Yeah, I hope you got that because I can't type, I think, in here. Loki, stop doing that. You can go in the aviary in a few days. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad right now. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ryan Q. Yeah, I am way more positive. Oh, thanks, monster uh, videos. Um, that's so kind that you want to type my name. So yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, then you can do that by typing Elke Emmerman. It's not with a space or a dot. It's just Elke Emmerman in one word. Yeah, right. Monster FH has typed my name, but on Instagram, it's not with a capital. Uh, so it's just Elke, all in small letters, and Emmerman. Almost right, Monster If H. Now just remove the capitals and then you have it. <laughs> You're so sweet. I was saying, I am... Yes, thank you, Monster F H. That is completely correct. So go follow me there if you want to. You don't have to if you don't like to see hoop dance videos and you don't have to. Um, so I was saying... I am actually way more positive than before because in the course I'm following, you learn how to raise your vibration. And if you're not into spiritual stuff, then you're probably like, what, raise your vibration, raise your frequency? What is that all about? And it's hard to explain in just one video. If you want to um, learn more about this, then maybe I should make a video about it. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but I could kind of explain what it's about. Uh, then give this video a thumbs up or post a comment in the comment section saying that you want a video about it. So in the course, you learn how to raise your vibration. You learn about the universe, the law of attraction, how the universe works. Um, you learn how to love yourself, like really love yourself. Not just say that you love yourself, but actually hating yourself. Like, 
for the first time in my life, you know, in the beginning, it was hard to not binge eat. I still binge ate. But for the first time in my life, I was able to kind of, sort of accept myself while being chubbier or fat. Um, I was able to say, okay, I don't look the way I want to look right now, but I'm still going to love myself either way because I deserve love. And that was so powerful. And you also... Okay, bye, Kelly. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Big hug to you. Um, okay. You also learn to be really thankful for the positive stuff that is in your life, even if you have more negative stuff going on. And it sounds really stupid, but it's not. It's really powerful. Um, the more grateful or thankful you are, the more appreciative you are about the things that are good in your life, the more good stuff you will attract in your life. Because if you raise your vibration, yes, Ryan, you're totally right. He says this place is about vibration and consciousness. If you want some science and then your comment disappeared. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys can probably still read the comment. Oh yeah, science. if you want some science, see Rupert Sheldrake, Morphic Fields. Oh, thank you. Um... Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, raising your vibration, it just means that you, if you raise your vibration, you feel good, you feel happy, you feel appreciative. Um, and the way you raise your vibration is by, for example, meditating and by expanding your consciousness. It all starts by being, well, by learning and being aware that the universe, that we are all one, everything is energy, um, and that you are a creator. You're not just a witness of this life. You're not a victim. Sure, some stuff happened to you in the past, which was really traumatic or bad or whatever, but you have to step out of the victim role and realize that all of that bad stuff happened for a reason because we come from the light, if you want to call it that, or I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm not an expert yet, <laughs> but... Like we come to this earth, we have, we are souls and we come into this physical body. But the problem is we go through a veil of forgetfulness. So we forget who we are and we forget our past lives and everything. And, um, and then we go through shit in our life and we just forget who we are. And we think that we are this physical avatar body, but we're not, we're so much more. We are a soul but we are not connected to our soul. Um, and by meditating, you make the connection um, with your soul again. And like I would call what I have experienced a spiritual awakening. It's when you learn through a friend or a therapist or a video or whatever, it's when you learn that the universe is a real thing and that everything is energy and that actually this is just kind of like a dream and the more you realize that this is a dream the more dreamlike your life becomes because you don't have to take things as serious anymore because taking things really serious and acting from a place of fear and pain is ego related we we also we have a soul soul and we have an ego and the ego is created as a protection mechanism uh, for the stuff we have been through. So if you were abused as a child, for example, you will have some self-destructive behavior that all comes from the ego. The ego wants to protect you, which is sweet, but it's not good <laughs> um, because it's usually, it causes a lot of pain. And when you start to heal that pain, when you start to realize that um, you have to kind of, starve your ego and feed your soul that's when things become really beautiful and better so that's what i've been doing i've been learning about that in the course and i've been trying to apply the things i've learned and oh thanks ryan you're so sweet thank you <laughs> um the more you learn, the more you have epiphanies and you're like, oh my God, it all makes sense. And you learn how to apply the law of attraction, which basically means that the more you focus on something, 
the more of it you attract into your life. Uh, so for example, this can be negative or positive. Um, let's say you have cancer and you really want to heal from your cancer. Um, these days, there are a lot of spiritual people who um, decide not to get chemotherapy, but to go, for example, on a really healthy, um, clean, vegan diet. And, um, and they go spiritual and they use the law of attraction to heal themselves. They, they believe so deeply that their diet and their positive thinking and everything they do will heal their cancer that it just happens. Um, there is a documentary about this. I think it's called Heal or Heal Yourself on Netflix. And it's really um, explained very in a very simple way. So it's totally understandable and relatable. Um, so yeah, go watch that if you're interested. And I'm not saying that chemotherapy can't heal you because if you believe uh, that chemo will heal you, then it will, you know what I mean? Uh, but a lot of people have healed themselves just by believing. Um, but if you have even the smallest smidge of doubt, then you will delay your positive results. And that's what most people have to learn, including myself. So the more you focus on what you want in a positive way, the more you will attract it into your life and you will reach your goals. So what you should do is like, imagine what it would feel like if you would have what you want. It, it doesn't matter if it's a beautiful body or um, a, just good health, mentally or physically, or a lot of money. It, it really doesn't matter what it is. Just imagine what it would feel like if you would already have it. Because it's really important that you already feel like you have it. Otherwise, it doesn't work. If you act and think from a place of lack, like for example, if you want more money, but you're constantly thinking, I want more money, but I don't have it yet, then it's not gonna come because you're delaying it. You're holding it off uh, without even realizing it. But if you're thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna do this and this, and it's gonna create so much more money into my life, then it will eventually happen. Because when you think about it, you feel such strong, positive feelings that you are creating, you are creating it into your life. Uh, so yeah, first you should imagine what it would feel like to have it, imagine what it would look like, what you would do, um, start doing small things every day to reach your goals and then let it go. Don't be fearful about it, don't be doubtful about it, just know that it is gonna come. And when it's gonna come, that depends on how much you are aligned with what you want. If what you want is a nice body, for example, but you're constantly in a place of fear and you're like, well, no, I have bad metabolism. I will never get what I want. Um, this sucks. I need to exercise four hours a day and not eat anything or I will never get to the place I want to be. Then it's not going to happen. Uh, but I know from experience how hard it is to change false beliefs. Because you might really honestly believe that you have a bad metabolism when actually you don't. Or you might have a bad metabolism, but that's because you have taught your body to have a bad metabolism. If you, on the contrary, um, if you, however, start eating more healthy and you exercise, but you don't stress about it, you're like, well, I actually don't have to exercise that much because I have good metabolism. It's going to come. I just need, my, need to give my body some time to trust me again and it's going to come. The more you start believing it, the more you'll see it's going to happen. And what's really important is that you don't act from a place of fear. Like, for example, weighing yourself, bad idea. Because that's just you wanting to control everything. You are looking for proof that it's not going to happen. Or you are constantly looking for proof that it is going to happen. You want to see something that you can't see yet. It's like, if you don't see it yet, you don't want to believe it, but you have to believe it first before it's going to come to you. You know what I mean? That's what the law of attraction is about. And um, that's what I did to become an ambassador. I believed so much in the fact that I was going to get this position 
even though I had like 20 followers. So I was like, I'm going to apply and I'm going to get it. And I was so convinced I was going to get it that I already started to stress about the fact that I had to purchase, of course, an item from the shop um, so that I would be able to post pictures of myself in the clothing. And um, I knew that I had to be careful financially. Um, so I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get the position, but that means that I have to buy this and this and I hope there's enough money. Um, so that's how convinced I was. And the next day... I got the news that I was accepted for both of the companies. And then there was even a third company that spontaneously offered me an ambassador position, even though I didn't ask for it. So that's what a high vibration and the law of attraction and the power of belief does to you and your life. But it's an exercise. Like, I'm not saying that I am the queen of high vibrational stuff and that I know everything I know nothing like I'm following this course and I'm such a beginner and it's normal to have ups and downs but that will get better the more you practice the spiritual stuff um okay bye ab ab dread thank you for joining us stop would you stop it um, wow, I have almost been live streaming for an hour and I was saying that I wouldn't be able to. Yay! Goals. <laughs> Slate them. So yeah, that that's why I have uploaded less these past couple of weeks. Or dare I say months. No, weeks. Because four weeks ago or five weeks ago, I did post another video. Um, but I will start uploading more again from now on but please note that um robert and i will be in thailand so i won't be uploading for two weeks but after that i will upload more i'll try to get some really nice footage for you guys i'm so sorry about Ruki and her this is this must seem really pathetic for those who are new to this channel she does usually not do this a lot but sometimes you know she has these sprees where she does Hey, don't bite, don't bite her. Are you gonna preen me? Huh? Hmm. She's tired of me. <laughs> um, yep, that's why I didn't upload as much as usual. Uh, my nose is really itchy, I'm sorry. I have a cold because of the air conditioning system here in Belgium. Oh my god. Um, oh, thanks, AB Dredd. Um, I want to see you again too, so... I'll try to do another live stream before we leave to Thailand to show you the aviary and stuff um, when it's finished. Uh, so yeah, you guys are so gonna love watching Loki in her new home. It's incredible. Um, another update. Are there any other updates? Yeah, I'm really into hoop dancing right now. Um, even though I will um, not, um, how do you say that in English? I will not neglect you guys. I'll make more videos from now on. Um, I'm going back to a full-time job after our trip to Thailand. First, I'm going to ask for a conversation oh my God, with HR, Human Resources. Um, to ask what is possible because I may have to find another job but that's a-okay, I'm super positive I'm not scared or negative or stressed about it at all I so want to go back to work I want to be I want to be this is going to sound funny I want to be a stressed, hasty person again like most people are like oh my god, I work too hard I should make more time for myself uh, because life is not about work blah 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 and it's true but if you have been in sick leave for years, then you're actually grateful that you will have less time on your hands. I'm super excited, excited about being a hard worker again. Um, I really look forward to it. And Luki, oh, this is, you should be ashamed. Come on. Her um, chesses are actually really worn down and I wanted to make new ones because yesterday one of them broke. Um, but because she's going to be in the aviary for two weeks, you know, in the aviary, 
she only keeps her anklets, not the chesses, no laces, no long lace or anything. So I was like, nah, why bother? <laughs> I'll make new ones after Thailand, you know. This is so annoying. I'm just gonna let her do it, okay? You know, you, I keep it real on this channel. Why would I try to hide that she's doing that? She does that sometimes. Sometimes it's not pulling like this. Sometimes it's just when she preens herself. She also preens her feet and her anklets and her chesses. But this time, she also wants to get them off, I think. Yeah, what can you do? Um, going back to a full-time job. Yeah, so, oh, you guys, I wanted to ask you guys something. Please let me know in the comments if you would like, besides the owl videos, because I'm going to keep making mainly owl, owl videos, but I have a big audience here. So I was wondering, I would really like to make videos about um, the universe and spiritual stuff and also about my hoop dance. But my question to you guys is, would you think that would be nice. Would you appreciate those kinds of videos as well? As long if I make just as much videos with Luki as the other videos, you know, I would never cut down on the owl videos to be able to create more spiritual stuff. Uh, Monster FH, I'm gonna answer your question in just a second. Um, so if I would post some hoop dance videos and some spiritual stuff, you know, just putting out positive vibes, would you guys like that? Or are you like, well, we don't mind, but we wouldn't be super excited about it or anything. If you guys aren't interested, also please let me know. I, I genuinely want to know. Uh, then Monster FH, what did you ask uh, that you want some subscriber? About the wedding? Yes, um, Monster FH. Um, AB Dread, I will answer your question in just a second. Monster FH, I um, still do want subscribers to come to the wedding. Um, and I will send invitations when the time has come, but if you have missed um, the news, then I'll just repeat myself. We have postponed the wedding until June next year. So that's why you haven't had an invitation yet. But everyone who wants to come is still very welcome. And then AB Dread, to answer your question, what did you ask? Oh yeah, you asked who is going to take care of Luki when we are in Thailand. And that will be my two best friends, Elke, she also is called Elke, and Veronique. Um, and the reason that they can watch after Luki is because Luki will be staying in the av aviary. And so my friends don't need to know anything about falconry to take care of her. Um, Robert is gonna build a double door so my friends can just stay in between the two doors and just throw the defrosted one day old chicks in the aviary without risking their lives or anything and because Luki is not tethered to a perch in the aviary she's just free in the aviary um, they don't have to do anything else they don't have to check her anklets or her chesses because she won't be wearing chesses only anklets but they can't get tangled in anything so yeah, maybe refresh the water, that's something they could do as well. But for the rest, they don't have to do anything. Luki will be completely safe. Um, so yeah, that's your question answered. And Robert has joined us. He has finished his work for today. So I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you appreciated this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really supports our channel. And don't forget that I love you guys that I really appreciate you guys. I'm so grateful to have you subscribed to my channel and to be able to interact with you. And I will try to live stream again uh, before we leave um, to Thailand, which is on Monday. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to do another live stream. And yeah, have a nice evening, you guys. Oh cool, Monster FH is gonna have a driver's license probably and a car so she would be able to come. I would love to have you there. We will chat further about that in the next live stream. Oh, Sarah says thank you for everything you do. Sarah, are you the one that um, donated um, money on my PayPal account? Because if you are, 
then thank you so much. I really appreciated it. And especially what you wrote. Oh, it was you. Thank you so much. Because I have been um, absent, I forgot. Be because I was actually thinking about making, well, about mentioning you in a video to thank you. So I guess I'm doing that now. But because I have been absent, I, I haven't done it yet. But really, thank you. Um, oh, no, you don't have it's okay it, it doesn't like every donation even if it's like five cents is welcome um just i really appreciated it and the fact that you also wrote a comment about why you appreciate my videos that was so it gave me so much joy and it make it made me feel worthy and valuable so yeah i really appreciated it all right you're writing a novel I'll try to make more videos, which would be good for your novel. Um, if you have questions, you can always email me. It's, uh, you can find my email address in my videos. It's elke.immerman at talionet.be. And um, you can send me an email with your questions. And I would be happy to answer them. Um, so if I can help, I will be glad to do so. Now I'm really going to leave you guys. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.